Hi everyone, my name is Nicola Benerandi, also known as Nicola B. So I'm here to announce that I'm forking KDE Plasma. It's actually pretty easy to do if you want to just go to invent.kde.org, then search for Plasma Desktop, and then just click on the button that says fork. It's pretty easy. I've also decided to choose a new name, which is Plasma FT, which is actually pronounced. I actually don't know how it's pronounced. I think it's like Plasma FT. So I've also decided on a new motto for Plasma FT, which is powerful by default, but simple when needed, which I think is much better than Plasma Desktop original motto, which I did not copy. Mine is absolutely original, that's fake news. So you might ask, why am I doing this? So the reason is that, that I'm sick, I'm fed up with all the hate from KDE developers when I try to propose to make something transparent. First I proposed the panel to be transparent, then the applets, then the windows, then the you know desktop background, but it's not like you actually need the UI. You, you can just take a black box with everything on it is 100% transparent. I mean, we have an alpha channel, we should use it. So you might ask then, what is the UI toolkit that you're going to use, Qt? Or JDK? Well, I thought about it, and at first I thought the solution was Pygame, a uh, high speed, low efficiency uh, library for drawing on the screen with Python. However, I realized that because everything is transparent in Plasma Photo, nothing is actually to be drawn, which means that we can actually not use a UI toolkit at all, which is mind blowing, right? Actually, no, this is revolutionary. So, to end up, this is my call for support, economical support, not like coding, I, I can do that, but it's, I'm once again asking for your financial support, because you know the alternative is to start up an OnlyFans, so yeah. So if you want to learn more about this project, just go to plasmaft.club and go for it. Thank you.